I'm Charles, I'm a solutions architect based here in the UK. I've worked in the IT industry now for around eight years. Uh, I've been a solutions architect for nearly three of those. I've previously ran a small managed service provider myself uh, for around three years. Uh, and prior to that, I was an engineer, mainly around field services and project engineering. So my speciality is actually in cloud services. I have an infrastructure background, so it was sort of natural progression to get into sort of cloud, cloud services. I focus mainly on Microsoft Azure at the moment. Um, I've sort of done my certifications within those. It's quite quite an important thing to do, uh, and have recently started doing my AWS exams. That said, once I've done AWS, I'll probably move on to Google Cloud as well. Uh, GCP is picking up a little bit of traction here in the UK, uh, so interested to sort of become multi-cloud where I can. Typically, I start my day at around half eight, quarter to nine in the morning. And first thing I'll do is jump onto my emails and Teams, make sure I get back to everyone that's waiting on me. Gives me an opportunity to chase people for information I know I'm gonna need soon as well. Uh, just like to get that out of the way, um, start the day off right really, it's a nice easy win. I then go onto our CRM and I look at the opportunities that have been assigned to me, uh, make sure that they're up to date, that they're progressing and really make sure that the information is correct. I do typically after that, uh, check the opportunities around the business. So uh, everyone within the solutions architecture team, I find that really beneficial and I've always done that. You don't have to, um, but for me, I like having an insight as to what's going on around the business. Sometimes a customer will have multiple opportunities. You might not be assigned to all of them. They might be differing, but the context can be quite helpful and it can be something for you to consider as part of your opportunities. That's something I do pretty much every day. So this morning's relatively typical. I have some calls. Um, the first call is really, I almost call it like a de-blocking meeting or unblocking meeting. So it's all of the solutions architects and the sales team, and we will basically discuss the opportunities that are live at the moment and what we can do to help one another to make sure we get things out to the customers as quickly as we can. In between that, I will be working on a scope of works for another customer that I've been working with, and we're looking at creating uh, a disaster recovery region within Microsoft Azure for them. They've moved some workloads up there. Obviously, they need that protection and resiliency. Um, so we'll be looking at creating a scope of works for that. And then this afternoon, we just have a lot more calls. So a typical day does involve a lot of calls. It is usually like pricing things up, scope of works. Obviously you need to make design decisions, so can be quite a lot of research. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make this video and give you a bit of an insight as to, as to what this role is really like and hopefully enjoy. <laughs> Thank you.
to morning so far. I've managed to get the scope of works as far as I can. Uh, and now I've got about five minutes until my call. I'm gonna quickly grab a drink, go on the call, hopefully do a little bit more work afterwards. And grab some lunch. I had planned this morning and managed to get the scope of works as far as I can get it. I seem to have randomly placed myself on the stairs um, but I'm going to grab some food now and then I've got two more calls this afternoon. Uh, one with a customer to talk about a networking requirement they have within Azure uh, and then I have another one which is just a general company update which we have every two weeks and they're pretty cool to be honest because when you're remote, I mean I've worked remotely now for nearly three years, uh, full-time from home since 2020, as most people have been. And there's sort of no plan on going back. I've even changed jobs during that time as well. I'm a full remote worker and I love it. But it's really good to have those updates from the business because you don't get to really see what other people are working on outside of your department unless you interface with them as part of your job uh, and overall sort of company performance. So I find those quite interesting. So I'm gonna grab some food now and try and do some uh, sort of practice exams. So I'm trying to go and learn a little bit more about AWS to be able to help our customers in that. Uh, a lot of it's transferable from Azure, to be honest. It's more learning the terminology and the names of products. Uh, but yeah, going to go and do some practice exams with my food and then play with my dog. <laughs> you can probably see him at the top of the stairs. Uh, so we're going to go do that and then, yeah, crack on from there. Good time. that's pretty much the end of the day now. Uh, as you saw, after work, I went out for a walk, uh, took my dog out, and I've come back and made dinner. I've obviously got changed, had a wash, that sort of stuff, usual things. Uh, and now the rest of the evening really will just be relaxing. I'll watch some TV, uh, do some personal emails that I need to get around to. And um, it's pretty much it, just prepare for tomorrow. So thank you very much for your time and I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, if you could leave a subscribe, that'd be great. I do plan on making more videos in the future. I haven't done this for such a long time, but I must admit I really enjoyed it today. So yeah, hopefully see you again and any comments, please leave them below.